Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Luck Be a Landlord, the roguelike slot machine drafting game modded, though. We're going to be playing around with the Daniel's Random Stuff mod still because it just seems like almost like an expansion to the base game. It fits in so well, and it adds so much new stuff, 100 new symbols, which is like 66% of the base game's content added in. I did also slap in another mod that just introduces two symbols, and it's by Wobat, and it is a Butcher and Butcher Cleaver mod, because that is something that I've, you know, mentioned in the past. It's kind of strange that it hasn't existed, that there's nothing that can do that. Like, you know, not that I want to murder every animal in the game, but, like, it's strange that there is nothing that interacts with that element of the game. Uh, so now there is. So what do we want to take here? We have balloon, one for each row below it, destroys itself on the bottom row. Uh, you know, snowflake is not bad, but like, let's go for the balloon. We've not necessarily played with it yet. It's a really good level one symbol. Uh, I'll take the wood. So we've not done a full wood build yet. Chest Knight is certainly fun. We did just do a lot of that yesterday. Balloon popped. It was, it, hey, it was fun while it lasted. Not much we could do to keep it down, though. I'll go for the wolf. Uh, did we take mouse? We did take mouse. Ninja and mouse get five times more when adjacent to each other. I, you know, I can dream. A guy can dream. Woodpecker destroys adjacent wood. Gives six for each destroyed. Uh, we could also preemptively take a puddle that will break the gray slime. Like, uh, the slime, golden slime, all that stuff. Maybe give us some, like, re-rolls or removal or whatever, 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 whatever. I'll go for the woodpecker, though. We'll, we'll just get rid of this here. Uh, leaf is certainly nice. It's basically the exact opposite of the balloon. Removal capsule is certainly nice, too. But we need to make sure we get some value. Slime. I do... Here's the thing. I would love... There, there's, like, a full, almost, like, D&D. &D. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, the hat, though. Gives one. Any human below this gives two times. Uh, two times a multiplier. Uh, so that is pretty darn cool. Oh, the butcher's included because it's in an, uh, it's in the animal. Oh, my God. Oh, it, it totally functions with this mod. Because the animals are tagged as animals. So the butcher, <laughs> the butcher kills woodpeckers and penguins. I mean, it kills everything. It's merciless. I will get this hat regardless, because I would love to do a hat build, uh, of which it does seem like there is a possibility to do. So what, it 2Xs the stuff under it? So that doesn't necessarily help the billionaire. Wind destroys our leaf if it doesn't get destroyed first. I'm not, like, wowed by a lot of this stuff here. I will just take that. Uh, sticks and woodpeckers give twice as much. Another hat. Yes, please. Please. <laughs> please. Uh, cultists. See, I'm, I keep getting humans that give me zero. <laughs> I could make the hat cult. Let's just grab it and see what happens. It's a useless symbol until it's not. Dwarf could be good. You know, it's a human. Could wear the hats. Uh, I'll grab another woodpecker. It does give us 2x. And if we ever find the, the butcher, we can, we can pivot. Frog destroys adjacent slimes. Now, there we go. 100 bucks. Ninja. There we go for the... Uh, what is it? The mouse ninja. Birdhouse gives us plus one to woodpecker before it does the multiply. So it should be a 4x. Yep, four times. Not bad. Bag of chips. Add additional symbol after you spin, but minus one. We could probably handle that. I'm going to give it a shot. We can handle that. Uh, Magpie gives us... It gives zero, and nine every four spins. I'm just gonna take it. You know, if we do end up going the, the butcher route, it will be... You know, it'll be brutal. But it does... I gotta know. I guess I can't find out from here, but... The butcher... I wonder if the butcher can break the 
pet rock. The rock that does not qualify as a pet. Skip. Two when adjacent to Billionaire, Robin Hood, Zaroff, Midas. Why why rocket ship sun dragon UFO Yeti? I mean like I'm not against it, I just don't get it. I don't get why that adjacency works. I'm sure that there's a very clever thing. It's like these are all things that are written about in stories or something. Monkey. Cultist. Oh, let's go. Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. We have uh we have a mouse, we can get the cheese here. Kind of just trying to like scope out potential different uh build ideas more than anything here. Anthropology degree when there's nine people. They get 1.5 times as much. I mean that's really good. Purple pepper just helps us. Custom capsule. Stick does give us extra. Do you eat sticks? Do indeed. Very helpful. Uh, aquatic animals give one more. Sounds good to me. We should also probably remove some stuff. We are at 21. So we're at 20 now. Not bad. Lime slime. Another ninja could be bad. What well, gives one? You know what? I think it's fine. More likely that we get the uh, the ninja and the mouse by each other. Like I think getting too mm, yeah, I think getting too much more is asking for trouble. But we could get a 10x multiplier on that. Landmine destroys adjacent humans and then destroys itself. I could take the key. It's not bad. Yeah, I'm like owl's fine. Why do I keep getting mythology so early? Is there like some secret modifier for this item? Give six more for each adjacent very rare. You're twice as likely to find uncommon rare and very rare. Like, I mean, I'm going to give it a go. Top magpie. I mean, magpie is not bad if we ever find the butcher cleaver stuff. Destroyed by adjacent sticks and stones. It shall break the bones. Then adds a pile of bones. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Like, what is an early game version of... Okay, hold on. Do we have wind still? We do. What's an early game version of the kind of the Dungeons and Dragons inspired build look like is it is it going for slimes god you really want me to have so many ninjas okay every symbol's different it's probably not gonna happen could work but we have chemical seven that we're already working on already and then i'd say eight is definitely above our average so we can hit you with that uh, essence capsule. Another magpie is not the worst. I'm a little bit worried about the essence capsule uh, penalty right now. All right. All right. Okay. Oh, interesting. We could have archaeologist plus the skeleton. That's definitely a build. Puddle is kind of irrelevant here. Penguin is not bad. Oh, there we go. We got the cultist. We're going to need a little bit more action than that to make the cultist work. But, like, the, um, I will say the second we get the mythology book, I'd say we can kind of kiss that goodbye. Uh, let's see. I don't think we have any of that. I don't think we have any of the stuff that this removes. I'll get the slime. Frog will go wild with that. We should definitely start removing a couple things. Trash can. Yeah, like I don't think we're I don't think we have any of that. Twenty-four ditch. Ditch. This should count as double. Monkey gives six times so this is twelve, so it's better than it's better than a capsule. It'll take theoretically I thought it was gonna take a little bit longer for it to combine, but alas. The range doing a spin is not bad at all. We don't have stuff for that. Claw game? I mean, we could. 
I think we can handle it. Right? Claw game tax evasion would be so nice. Okay. Dwarves give more. Lucky carrots. Obviously, like a free very... I think let's go with the free very rare. When you add seven animals, you get 77 bucks. Sure. Chess queen, minecart. Magician. 60% chance of adding a symbol. 25% chance of removing adjacent. Blab. Adjacent rabbits, magic hats, sticks, and keys. Give three times more sticks. Oh my god, this is so much minus stuff, but I think it's worth it. Cole gives a coin every six spin. Wait, a coin for every six spins it has remaining. Oh, interesting. I'll grab that preemptively. We have so much stuff. We have a couple of these. These are going to get destroyed. We have two of those. So we have four things that are going to be removed. So it's not, not as bad as it looks. We should maybe pivot out of even caring about cultists at this point. If we're going to keep the Book of Mythology, that is. <clears throat> Jack of Cards. Two for each. Symbol if there is the same number of... Spades, clubs, hearts, and diamonds. It seems too wild. Sticks into campfires. That into ash. I don't think I have anything left for that. Destroy stuff after six spins. I mean, it's kind of not bad to have anyways. There's my final chemical seven I needed. This could probably be melted, I guess. I don't really want the banana. Like, if we would have grabbed the trash can, banana monkey trash can kind of works well. Uh, buh, buh. 40 bucks. So basically, if I feel like I'm going to make less than 40 bucks in a spin, that's the one to go for. I don't think that that's going to happen. But yeah, I've got, I'm just going for all these claw games. I really like them for the sake of this modded pack where we're going to have like a lot more symbols in the game. Yes, absolutely. Avatar. Hold on. This is our... Is this our guaranteed very rare? Puddle, snow, shiny pebble, boulder, rock, soil, fire, sun, lit candle, campfire, earth, wind. Give forts and empties. Give four times more. I mean, I have to, right? Was snow globe one of them? Not snow globe. Interesting. I mean, rain was one of the... Here's the thing. Like, how much do I lean into that now? Those get 4x. Not... I mean, not bad. That is not bad at all. Destroys the... Okay. Snowball. No, not snowball. Tough to figure out which ones are uh, the ones we really want here. We're, we're junking our deck. It's so easy to get excited playing this mod, like putting myself in a spot where I'm like playing for so many different types of builds. That's harmless. It'll destroy itself. It's so easy to play for so many things. Terracotta Soldier is very appealing. I think it's kind of like a good pathway into the Dungeons and Dragons style build. Um, I think that there is a permanent thing. So this is like, it does it, uh, eight times. There's one that does it permanently as well. Okay. When adjacent to the avatar, this gives two more. I just, I feel like I don't need to. Red slime this is getting wild. I'll get the wind. Sure. What the hell? I just did some kind of wombo. I have no idea. Lucky capsule sounds great. But yeah, the fire seems pretty good. 56. Where the hell did that come from? 
trying to get stuff set on fire here. Like, I'm trying to get things set on fire because I think it produces more fire. I'm trying to... What do we got here? Uh, bones, milk, and stack of bones. Give one more. Sure. I know that had a synergy with the, uh, the avatar. Not that I necessarily am going to go for it. Yeah, we got offered Void Party twice. That would have been kind of fun. Rabbit Fluff will fly away. Mobius Strip. These are wild. The luck on this run is nuts. Uh, sure. Yeah, I feel like we have to. It's the very rare one. We, we have to go for it. The, uh, the slimes that give money also can get Mobius Strip powered. Absolutely take the metal that buffs the thing above it by 3x. It's the mouse. The mouse gets the metal. You give a mouse a medal, it's going to want a trophy. Uh, yeah, I keep on having to check because I'm like, is this my lucky carrot? But it's like, no, it's not lucky carrot. It's literally just, I think, mostly coming from mythology, which is multiplying our, our, our stuff by a lot. But like, dang. Okay, if we Mobius, if we get Mobius Strip on the Golden Slime, this is going to be nuts. Okay, we have five here that are going to be removed. Um, I don't know how much I want the sapling anymore. We can really, we can really ditch the cultists, like totally. Soil does get buffed up by the avatar, but I, I feel like we can't trap ourselves into only going for stuff that the avatar wants. Though I, I'll admit I did want to check this here. Screw it, I don't want to play boring old vanilla diamond build. I don't want to get dang old diamonds, but I will say furnace plus uh, going for that is really, really appealing. Lime Slime. I feel like le when I have Wind, Leaf is pretty appealing because it's just... Okay, so this actually... That actually was our... That one was our carrot. Okay. Like, there is a cultist. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Not at this point, man. Great Slime. Great. Slime. Great. Slime's, like, frog is such a good piece, it's not even funny. Oh, frog. Frog slime wombo combo, especially with the freaking... Maybe that's the angle. Look at that. That was our golden slime, wasn't it? It must have been. Yeah. Don't really care about any of this stuff. Not particularly relevant. Fruit. Rusty Gears, fun. The next thing that gets opened... Oh, if we would have got that right before the Golden Slime, we would have got the 3.5x on that. I don't think it's actually going to give us as much as if we just went for this. Fox, very cute. God, we got to remove a lot of stuff. I feel like I want to stop that sapling before it grows up and we have to deal with it. I mean, having two avatars, I feel like we do sort of have to go for an avatar-focused thing. Uh, Lumberjack could be okay to kind of just stop the, the tree build. It's kind of a kind of a one-for-one one dealio there. Got buffed up by the hat as well. Gray Slime gives us removal. Wild card is kind of just a free take. the avatar get buffed up? No, no, no. He do, The avatar doesn't get buffed up by the stuff. He buffs up the adjacent stuff. He obviously does get buffed by the hat. I'm going to take the pine tree, though, for the uh, lumberjack. Oh, come on, man. I, I got to tell you, though, like being ahead and grabbing the slot machines, I love. Or the claw machines. I absolutely love that. It's a bit risky, 
but only a bit. I think it may actually be one of the strongest things in the game. But it's in a way where it's like Eldritch Creature, lol. Uh, I could. It is going to be buffed up. It's just, it's, it's so vanilla though. It's just base, it's so base game. We're totally ahead. We can, we can uh, go for a lot of this stuff. It doesn't matter. We're on difficulty level one. It's worth noting as well. Transforms adjacent wood into houses. I love that symbol idea. Fire. I will take that. If it burns down the tree, that's totally okay. I don't know. Only got the two on that. Yeah, we, we have... We have rent already. We could do this, have even more rent. Even more rent. Uh, if you have three birds, you birds are worth twice as much. That's actually really, really good. I have no arrows. Swapping device is good. We're getting so many essences because of all the slimes as well. Like, this is kind of nuts. I am kind of looking for 45% chance of triggering a random hex effect, but it's worth five. I love that thematically. No avatar. I mean, the sun could get buffed up. Like, I don't know what's the ideal... I'm trying to think of what's the ideal thing. What is the ideal symbol for the avatar to buff? I'm not sure. Is there a synergy within this here? I mean, kind of. Sun and rain for flower. Like, that's... Not that that needs help. I mean, I'm sure there's something with the, the weird fire. Earth adjacent things give one more. I'll take that. Removal caps, of course. Cleaver! There it is. So... This is a uh, this is the uncommon. There is also the butcher, of course, that is a uh, it's a rare, and he gains plus one permanent value per. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We have to. Five whenever symbols are destroyed. This is gonna be brutal. This is gonna be brutal. I'm trying to think if we. This gives the value of eight times, so we actually kind of want to... Oh my god, it's absolutely a massacre! Wait. Wait, did I get the money? 160... Did I get the money? I'm not sure if I got the money. I might have. It looked like I got a lot of money, but not... Oh god, wait, hold on. We'll have to see. That makes sense. That checks out. I got... <laughs> that's exactly what I was worried about. It totally works. I got minus eight there. So it gave me the plus one afterwards. So that is terrifying. All right. There's lots of fire. There's lots of chaos. Crow does give two. And birds are going to be a bit better for us. Fire does burn down the tree. We have so freaking much going on to like obviously obviously too much but we have a lot of things that are also theoretically going to be fixing that of course the claw game got the 1.5 times multiplier ninety eight. Holy crap. More fire? I think fire is the ideal way to go. We can make puddles. I don't know if I want puddles, though. I know Avatar does buff up the puddles, but, like, that doesn't mean we definitely want them.
This is one way to get your clean pivot, right? This is the way to get the pivot. Oh my god. Is it... Oh my god, it does. Oh no. Frosty? I mean, that's fun. That'd be really good for... Wait, all, all Frosty and Snowmen. Not, um... Nothing to do with snowflakes. Okay, good. Absolute chaos. And we have the wind to blow away the ashes. This is like turned fairly synergistic. It took a lot of, lot of work here. More fire? We can totally take the trees now. Like, this is... As chaotic as it seems, it is all feeding into itself here at this point. I don't have anything to do with the slime, though. I don't have a way to get rid of the slime because the frog died. So maybe I do want puddles. I guess I want puddles to get rid of the slimes at this point. So I do want things like, uh, like a snowman. Lit candle... I, I just want to see what a lit candle is, finally. Absolute chaos everywhere here. Okay. Can I burn... Burns adjacent symbols. I know that when I hover over that, it tells me what the things it burns are. I don't know if that's one of them. Stick turns into a campfire, which also buff up. Fine. We have a lot of removal, and we'll, we'll play around with it after. What the hell happened? Wait, does, the, does rain put out fire? Hold on. Was that added? Wait, rain destroys slime? I missed that one. God, there's so many things that have been added to old symbols as well. Rain puts out fire and destroys slimes. Interesting. We don't really want the fire out, but... Like, everything is competing with each other here. I'm gonna give, say no to the rain... Do I remove the rain? No, we kind of need it. We did indeed melt the snowball like we wanted. That does work. What do we swap? I don't freaking know. This is chaotic. We can probably get rid of the hats since um, the avatar buffs up the other things. I was t taking the hats kind of hoping like secretly for like the butcher. Oh my god. Earth is probably fine. It's probably fine. Like, there's a lot of that stuff, but I'm not really doing that right now. Balloon's okay. Pine tree's fine, but also chaotic. Adjacent food permanently gives one more. Destroys the stuff after making a simple... Oh, campfire. That's so clever. It buffs food. That's so interesting. Okay. Okay, we got to we got to start calling some stuff. This stops us from ever doing fire. Destroys adjacent souls. Gives 22 for every soul and soul. Each soul and soul destroyed. Wait, what? There must be something going on with the... I don't know. Alright, so we have, we have the rain for the slimes. This will go away in the wind. That goes away over time. These are all going away. That's going to go away. That's going to go away. That's going to go away. I mean, that's the thing. I think we're fine. I think we just have a very, like, wild build that just kind of has a lot that does function. We can remove... We should remove the hats. 
I like them. I love them. We should remove the hats. I do want to do a hat build, but it just doesn't seem like today's the day. Like, Avatar can wear the hats, but it doesn't do that much for us. Oh my god. Watermelon? I mean, we could get that. That would be fun with the campfire and everything, but I just feel like we don't need to. I'm going to ditch the lumberjack. We can probably ditch the earth. We can ditch the ninjas. Yeah, we're, we're like, okay. So that's what, that's kind of what I was thinking is we sort of, in a way, um, I want to double buff the campfire, see what that, that gives us here. In a way, we don't have a lot of symbols. Core symbols. Oh, the raindrop. Why did the rain get buffed so much? I must have popped that one slime. Yeah, we have four freaking empties now. Get the rabbit fluff. Get the rain. Uh... When an, wait, when an adjacent symbol is destroyed, it has a 40% chance of adding a Frankenstein's monster or skeleton. I love that. I love that. This is going to be super buffed up. 96. Not bad. The coal is fine. Something we could totally do. The buffing capsule, I'm good with it. Checkers piece. I'd love to do a checkers build at some point. Uh, Rapper fluff just gets blown away. Another cleaver. We don't. I feel like it's one of those symbols you don't need two of. Oh. The fact that it's a 4x multiplier. It's like, it's just begging to be... Uh, to rip everything apart. Why do I feel like there's bubble? No, bubble is not allowed. Oh, wait. You buffed up the earth. Oh, shoot. That's actually, it's fine though. Because like, here's the thing. The earth only had a two cost. I don't really care what the value of the, um, the avatar is. Because the reason to do it would be like, oh, the earth has synergy with the avatar because it buffs up the avatar. It's like, yeah, sure. It's going to give us a tiny little bit of something, something, but that doesn't really matter. It's about the base value of the thing that the avatar multiplies, right? Frankenstein's monster gives one for each skeleton and bone pot. I definitely want to do a build of that kind at some point. Item caps is great. Purple. Yeah, not that great. Oh, wait. I guess Turtle's not that strong either. Mega Chest, sure, we have that lockpick thing still. Sure, we have that lockpick thing still. Oh, my God. Freaking book, man. Freaking book. I wish we rolled the other chest so we could swap their places. Slime's totally okay. Buff that up. We're just getting so many freaking things. Snow. I feel like the best one would be like snow and snow glow, but then you can't fill the board with extra avatars. Like that's the theoretical probably best, but it's, it's kind of weird. Either way, there, I have no worries here. Like this is absurdly strong and winning. Cats. I don't have any of that. Apparently, we should be getting some uh, some hexes, though. Two more if it lands on the space it first appeared. Man, with um with the swapper, this is one of the easiest things to buff up. If there's anything that can multiply, well, I guess there is something now. Flag plus um, metal 
plus um, the Swapper. It's incredible. Yeah. I don't think this is a bug. I think this is like a... This is the kind of modder symbol that if you... Yeah, if you don't fix it, it kind of gives you that. I'll take the snow globe. We'll try and give it a shot. If you don't fix whatever your um, the symbol you're adding is, you know, it will just call itself that. A question mark symbol. This is really good. I just... I guess I could. Why not? Absolute chaos. So, like, having that... Golden Slime's incredible. Man, trying to find, like, the cohesive thing. I mean, the, cohe the cohesion of the run is... The Avatar. Oh, and also, these don't go away. Not yet. I think Frog gives more from Aquarium, but it's alright. Just getting so much stuff. Crow is like, we could technically just keep taking Crow. Snowflake. I like the idea of the Snowflake and the, um... Snow globe right now. That by the avatar is really, really good. Uh, so theoretically, I think we would want like the Yeti. I'm gonna just skip stuff for now, actually, now that I think about it. I don't have any way to get. God, the aquarium keeps on causing. Like, we keep on getting problems where we accidentally have too many slimes. Like, I'm going to need to turn off something. Maybe I get, like, um... I could just remove them, too, you know? But there's so many ways to get rid of them, but we have... I, I know. I'm well aware. I'm well aware. I'm well aware of what I just did. We just don't care about money, clearly, at this point. It is now just about, um... How do we make this into a cool, cohesive build... And I think that's going to be through Snowflakes, Snow Globes, and the Avatar here. Because if we can keep them going, they're going to slowly get absolutely chunky to a truly ludicrous degree. And then we'll be able to multiply them by 4x and then potentially 4x again. Like, the fact that that does 12 on just on just one there is super, super nice. Yeah, we, we don't care about stuff anymore. That's just kind of random things. We're, we're in the post-game already, let's be honest. We're already in the post-game. We're going to hit the, uh, the landlord here in a sec. And we'll be completely fine. So, yeah, the more snowflakes we have, the more they're going to have at a base... Kind of like uh it's kind of like the cultist. Bump it up 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 it up up it up it up up Protractor's fun. There's the butcher. I definitely I mean I want to play with the butcher at some point. I just I think we're I think we're past that for today. Potentially getting the Yeti. The Yeti would be incredible. We'd get lots of snowflakes. Because Wait, does fire burn snowflakes? I know it burns snowballs. I think it does burn snowflakes. But this would take all the puddles. I think that that would still... I think it would be the right call, probably. Because this only buffs up... No, it buffs up snowballs, too. Man, it's... There's a lot of... I. This is what I really like about the mod. There's so many different ways that these are all interacting. It's not just a static build. It's very, very... Snowflakes give one less. That's annoying, but it'll go away in a sec. Um, it's very, very dynamic, this build. Like, there's a lot of moving parts that can accidentally trip other ones up pretty easily. Like, I could take the wind, but I really do think I just have one goal right now. Uh, 
These snowflakes are going nowhere, right? Like, they're going nowhere. I killed? I mean, it checks out, but like... Locksmith, snow, absolutely. So yeah, we're kind of looking for... Fun. Looking for the Yeti. We could get rid of the book if we're looking for snow, but if we're looking for the Yeti, because now that we have the conveyor belt, the Yeti can add snowflakes. Like, we could really do something with that. But, I mean, we could take, obviously, always could just keep taking those, but I'm not gonna. Terracotta Soldier is a good way where we could technically um, kill slimes. I don't need it anymore, but, like, that's a way we could kill slimes without having uh, it ruined in some way or another. But yeah, I think we, as much as I love that, that's been very, very fun. I think we can ditch that at this point. We'll go, we'll go run some empties for a sec here. I'll probably go off camera, see if I can find a couple more snowflakes. Uh, you know, we'll keep the snow globes going, but we'll want to theoretically transition them out. Uh, after, but yeah, already at 22. It's nuts. Gimme, 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 a man after midnight. All right, I'll be right back. Well, I think I, I don't know why, but I, oh my God. I think something went infinite there. It took a long time to get that pause. I pressed that like a minute ago. Uh, I'm going to try and refresh here, but we may, I don't know what's going on, but we may have caused an accidental infinite loop here. One moment. All right. We got about as much as I really feel like doing, but we're going to be able to see right here. This is going to be the juicy one. Oh, 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 oh. 864. Now, you'd think that this would be more wild, would you not? Uh, we don't have any that have, like, the metal bonus or anything like that. But, yeah, this is... I mean, it's generally showing the thing. If we had more avatars, which is going to be a lot tougher to do since it's a very rare, this could obviously get even more out of hand, like... It being a four times multiplier thing would be huge. Uh, but if, the thing is, if we stacked avatars, I would imagine that the better thing to do would be like, I don't know, find find a better base symbol. Like, I don't know, find uh, fire would maybe be fine. Looking at the symbols like, uh, I don't know, fire or the sun, like something that gives more, like maybe sun and moon synergy plus then removing all the moons and tunnel visioning on the sun part. Like, I don't know. We could do something like... Something with that uh, would probably be a technically higher value. Or maybe with, like, the rain or whatever. Boulder. Actually, boulder would be really good. That's, like, a base value of, like, 12 if it's on the bottom. Uh, but you need, like, telescope and stuff like that to play around with. But I'm just happy that that, uh, that infinite loop... It, it did crash on us. It crashed us a little bit. It did ruin a little bit of something-something. Uh, but we're all good now, and... I think that's that. That's going to do it here for today. Avatar seems like a very busted potential uh, piece, for sure. Alas, alas, though. That is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.